What is going on YouTube? Chris with Journals, Comics and Pop Culture. And if you're here because you love comics and you collect comics for whatever reason, you gotta hear me out today and watch this video. I'm gonna be showing you guys something that I believe truly is changing the game. I've done a video on them uh, about a year ago showing off these amazing products that are gonna make your comic books pop like crazy and put them on that next level pedestal guys if you aren't subscribed to the channel please take the time to do so check out the links in the description below as well but let's just get into it folks what am i talking about today i am talking about crafty comic frames folks yes i am and i'm going to tell you guys something this isn't just a blanket yes man sponsorship okay I stand by this product. Any any company or any product that I pitch or I might have a working relationship with, I only take on sponsorships or any type of relationship like that if I truly believe in their product. And when I did the first video on these, it was because I believed in their product. Now, I do have a working relationship with Crafty Comics. You can save 10% off of your orders by using a code when you place your order that link is in the description but putting that aside let's just talk about these products these in my humble opinion are probably the best frames on the market for comic books and when i say probably i mean because you got to weigh price point as well as the product itself and what you're getting now if you're a you know frame connoisseur you could spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on some real like art style like like frames that you would see if you're in a you know picasso art exhibit or something like that so that's not these these are though very unique for comic books and i'm gonna explain why right here we have a raw book display they are 99 percent uv protectant as well okay beautiful beautiful star wars cover now this is one thing that i really love uh, with what they've done with their options of product that they didn't have when I did my initial video on them last year. These frames are more customizable now. You guys can see that they have this nice color border around them. Look at this beautiful Ultimate Fallout 4, the Pacelli variant. You see there's a black background with the red border. Where this one has a clear background with a black border, right? Now, the, another good thing about these is you could swap them out. You could, like if I wanted to, I could take the red border and put it on the clear background. Or I can have a black background. I could do a yellow border, a blue border, a purple border. There are all different kind of color borders that you can uh, put behind the book to make it match the book that you are trying to frame and display again 99% UV protectant uh, they're really really easy to put together all of the pieces come with the protective film on it so nothing is damaged or scratched and you guys can see here how crystal clear I'm gonna put the glare on it you guys can see how crystal clear these are look at that not one scratch the screws the four screws are really easy to pop in and really get that book framed and protected. So these two right here are a couple of options for your raw books. I'm going to show you another option. They have a more of a classic, what they call classic. Um, and I actually have, I don't know if you guys could see it. Uh, back there, I got my Spawn. You guys can see it's it's up there. My Spawn 311 Chavo Bozeman tribute in a kind of a dark charcoal wood finish. Here's another one that has a more of a, what would you call this, like, uh, kind of like a, just a pine uh, finish. Uh, whereas that one, like I said, it's got the black border with more of a smoked charcoal wood finish. This one has a blue border around it for this awesome uh, fear book. This is the first meeting of Morbius and Blade. Got the blue background around it, that wood finish behind it, really awesome. So again, you could switch these things up. I could put a black border around this or a red border around this 
to match whatever book I want in it. I think the wood look gives it a really nice touch. You can really, I mean, there's, if you talk about like home decor, right? And you want to, whatever you have on your walls, whatever style, whether you have a rustic style, whether you have a more modern style or an industrial style, crafty comic frames can provide you options that would match all those styles. So if your home already has a certain aesthetic and, and uh, design style to it, you could get frames that really match whatever you already have going on. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we're going to move on to another option here. And again, folks, if you are interested in these, the link to craftycomics.com is below. If you use the code JFAN10, you will get 10% off of your orders. And again, again, complete transparency here. If I didn't believe in their product, I wouldn't have reached out to them. I wouldn't have said, hey, let's let's start a working relationship. Let me, you know, talk about your product because I believe in it. Let's get some uh, potential customers the ability to get some awesome product and, and save a little bit of money. I've done that with almost all of my sponsors. I've reached out to them and said, hey, I like your product. Let's let's work together. Right here, we got magazine. Magazine frames. This is uh, just basically the, the clear cover on the black background. And I think that is just super clean. Got some Moon Knight in there. This is Marvel preview of Moon Knight. Look at that. Beautiful. And again, if you wanted for a magazine style, if you wanted to go with a, a wood grain finish, you can. There are multiple, multiple wood grain finish styles available. All right. And lastly, I want to show you guys this comic right here. This is my son's. So big shout out to EGS for uh, a, a beautiful slab. This is the 9.8 custom label slab of Miles Morales. And I was able to get this custom. Now, this is a more of a charcoal, really dark, dark charcoal gray wood grain finish on this frame. You guys can see right there on the back what it looks like. This is the frame for the graded books. And no, yeah, I know it's not CGC. It's not CBCS. It's an EGS. Look at that. Look at that. Just black and red. Uh, custom label for that Miles book. My son is a huge Miles Morales fan. I was using this frame for my Fantastic 448. I had that in, in here for uh, many, many months. And then um, I got this book for my son. So I said, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in a frame for him. And again, here's one thing about displaying graded books. Your graded slabs are not UV protectant. So I often get worried when I see people putting their CGC, CBCS, whatever their books are, up on their walls, on display. Some people hang them from their ceiling. They are not protectant. You need something over that to uh, not allow the light to penetrate that comic book to cause color fade. These will do that. So I know it's, it's, it's hefty, it's bulky because you already have a comic book that's in a casing. But look, it does add aesthetic to it because you got the frame. And I know there's a lot of glare here, so it's a little tough to see. You got a nice framed background around it. But the bottom line, I think, for the slab uh, frames is it provides that UV protectant. Another thing that I really like about these frames where some other... I've seen some more standard frames that'll fit a graded book and they have like the wire on the back, the wire hang that sits on the nail. These actually have the slots, the little nail and screw slots that you can hang right up on the wall for a nice sturdy hold. You know, other people will put like a little strip, a shelving strip, and they'll just put their books right on top of that. But I really like that you also get the ability to frame these up obviously so again um uv protectant slab holder so let's review folks let's look at these one more time again i highly recommend you guys 
checking out craftycomics.com. See everything that they have to offer. Uh, again, the customization of the products that they, they, they have now, that they have available, or have, in my humble opinion, taken them even to that next level. I was already talking great things about them before these uh, these options. Now these options are available. So, and a really cool thing too, like I said, they're easy to put together and they're easy to take apart. So if I have this on my wall, you know, and I want to display this for a few months and, and cool, and then maybe, uh, maybe I want to, maybe I have magazines or even a comic book that's a theme of maybe a, a show or a movie that's out right now. So maybe like, I had this out and in here and on display because of the Morbius movie coming out. And maybe because, you know, the, the Thor movie's coming out. I'm going to put my Thor number one Jane Foster cover appearance in this, right? And and leave that up for a couple of months. The All you need to do is undo the little screw. You set it flat. You'll undo the screws. You take just the top plastic piece off. Take the comic out. Put another comic in. Put the screws back in and you don't even, now it has a flathead rivet in there. You don't even need to really use a screwdriver. I did all of these by hand. I did all of them by hand. You could take them out. You can unscrew them by hand. They're nice and tight. Don't get me wrong, but ah, see, so just put a little bit of weight on it and it loosens up, but you get it nice and tight and, and look, they're sturdy. These are not, these are, the screws are not coming out whatsoever. I don't want to do too much, but. You know, in the book, another thing too, look, I'm going to tell you this. It is concerning that we have graded books in slabs that slide around. These are pretty solid. I mean, this book, a little bit, a little bit of room towards the top where it kind of wiggles, but not that much, not as much as a CGC book. I'll tell you that. Let's move one of these around. See this one, this one isn't moving at all. This comic book is stationary 100%. Again, really sturdy. You can't even bend these. That's how thick and solid and high quality of plastic these are. Folks, I could keep ranting on about Crafty Comics product all day long. But I'm telling you guys, if anything, check out their website. CraftyComics.com. The link is in the description. J-F-A-N-10. J-Fan10 is the code use that save 10 percent off of your order and the code never expires guys you know you can use the code as many times as you want depending on how many orders you want to make if you order a couple and you really like their product and you want to go back and order more use that code again so again um just just beautiful there will be a part two to this video where you guys are going to see them on display but again, their website has many, many uh, examples of what they look like on display. But I'm getting ready to do a summer room tour that will be coming later this month. And in that video, you guys are going to see my crafty frames on display. I might have some different comics in them. We shall see. So, folks, thank you so much for watching the video today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have used uh, Crafty Comics frames before, let me know your thoughts on them. Otherwise, check out those links. Save some money. JFan10. Use that discount code. Thank you guys for watching. Be well. And until next time.